Well, listeners, last weekend I walked into a department store and saw Halloween decorations mixed with Christmas decorations going up, and that reminded me that very soon not only will the fat man be coming down my chimney, but a very naughty Christmas will be returning to a stage near you sometime very, very soon as well. Of course, the show will be on in Brisbane and Gold Coast and also Melbourne as well, and I'll give you all those dates later on. But without any further ado, we've actually got one of the members of the cast of the Melbourne version of A Very Naughty Christmas on the phone right now. Welcome to the program, Kate. Thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. Now, Kate, like I said, it seems like here in Australia we are diving into Christmas uh, very early this year. I'm not sure I've seen... um, Christmas decorations battling with Halloween and grand final decorations in stores before. So uh, tell us, where are you at with a very naughty Christmas and how Christmassy are you feeling at the moment? I know it's crazy. Coles and Woolworths. I mean, where to look? Do I grab the AFL merch? Do I grab the Christmas merch? But I am a Christmas lover through and through. So I never have a problem when the carols start playing in the shopping centres. I'm all for it. Um, but no, it is very exciting. It is, you know, it's crazy to think that, um, the year is 2024 is nearly complete. So, um, it's never complete without a bit of a naughty Christmas. So yeah, we're, um, we're getting stuck into rehearsals very, very soon. Um, so we can smash out some crazy shows for you all in December. So for those that have never seen a very naughty Christmas, tell us a little bit about, about the production. Um, how has this all come together and what can people expect if they head along to check it out? Yeah, definitely. Well, I, I sort of the show was born off the fact that at Christmas time there's so many different activities to bring your kids along to, but if you look around there's not really much just for that friend group or for the the work girls to go out um for to celebrate the year. So that's where the show was really born, something that uh, you can just leave the kids home for this one and come out with your pals, grab a few drinks. Uh, you can expect uh, singing, dancing, maybe a little bit of partial nudity, maybe a bit of magic, uh, uh, something that you'll, you'll never hear your Christmas carols the same way, <laughs> if that's a, a good way to put it. <laughs> I, I love that the creator, Alex, described um, the show as having some of the sexiest car- carolers of all time um, in his statement <laughs> that he put out as well. So, Kate, tell us a little bit about your journey with the show. Where did your journey with A Very Naughty Christmas first start? Yeah, so I started with the show four years ago in Brizzy. That's where the show was sort of born and bred. Um and so did two years there with uh, Very Naughty Christmas, loved it. And then when they were going to bring it to Melbourne last year, um, I actually, I'm a Brizzy girl, but I live in Melbourne. So I was like, absolutely sign me up. And I was a little bit nervous how the Melbourne folk might take this show, but oh my goodness, did everyone just lap it up. Uh, so of course we had to come back for uh, a second year. So yeah, this will be my fourth year with the show in total. Um, and yeah. Can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> so what was that like in the early days, starting it out in Brisbane, of course? Because like you said, Brisbane and the Gold Coast are a little bit cheekier than, than Melbourne um, with the shows that I've seen up there over the years. But uh, what was that journey like when you first started out with this show up in Brisbane? Yeah, so the show had been going for about four years before I first joined. Um, so definitely already had a bit of a following um we have we have people that dress up as Santa. We have people that um, sometimes we do two shows in a in a night, and they 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 come for the seven, and then they're back for the nine thirty. They're like, <laughs> give me more. I don't want to go home. So um, lucky enough that we did ha- it had a nice big following already. So I was sort of coming into this crazy whirlwind, and um, it was a show where I was a little bit nervous to start with, um, jumping into it. But you just have to go um, go into the show full on, full steam ahead, embrace it, and it's just, yeah, and then you can just have so much fun with it. And of course, for those that haven't seen the show again, did you join as a, a singer, a dancer? What was, what? was How was it pitched to you when you first joined? Yeah. We sort of, the show is amazing in that it really takes the talents of the specific artists that they have and highlight them to the best of their ability. So I um, am a a, a singer, actor, dancer. Um, so sort of came on board as singer, um, doing some of the sort of comedy uh, skit elements of the show as well. So then we have some people that are, you know, incredible burlesque dancers and then 
um, some people who just you could listen to all day long with their vocals. So, yeah, everyone's got their sort of strength, and I think the show is incredible at uh, highlighting each person's strength and bringing a little bit um, of different elements. So depending on who you are coming to the show, there's definitely something for you. Yeah, and how have you watched the show evolve over the years as well? Oh, my goodness, it's just getting bigger and better. It's actually um, heading to London this year as well. Oh, wow. Uh, so we're going to have an all- yeah, all Aussie cast in London for the very first time, which is super, super exciting. Like, you know, to think that it's just born from um, Brisbane, you know, doing a sort of small-scale show, and now it is just blowing up, going internationally. It's so, so exciting um, for the team. But, yeah, each year it gets bigger and better, uh, the set uh, the set develops and the, the you, I just think surely there's no more Christmas co- songs or Christmas content that we can do that we haven't done. Um, but somehow our incredible creators, they find it because each year it's, it's, you're not coming back to the same show. There's new skits, new songs, change the lyrics to, um, a new Christmas carol or each year we also have, um, some original songs as well in the show, which are, um, it's always a crowd pleaser and uh audience participation we cannot forget about that <laughs> um, <laughs> that always helps um mix the show up each year as well now you've been involved with the show now for four years what's been your favorite thing that you've got to do with the show over that time oh that is such a good question um we had Oh my goodness, that's such a good question. I, as I mentioned before, with the um, sometimes we have uh, original music in the show as well, and we had an incre- incredible song last year um, called uh, "Santa Loves You Less Because You're Poor," and just the, <laughs> the reaction from the audience, um, hearing that sort of penny drop, was just incredible. And I love that it was, you know, our work as well. So I think that's um, that's definitely one of my favourite moments. <laughs> definitely. So. You said that rehearsals are about to start uh, this year. Is there anything you can tell us at all that we can look forward to this year that we haven't seen before without giving too much away? Oh, you're trying to get me to lose my job now. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What can I tell you? Oh, I think it's all under wraps, but definitely you're going to be expecting singing, dancing, dancing. comedy skits, a little bit of, maybe a little peep of something if you're lucky. Um, uh, but I can tell you that the wait list is open for yep. tickets, um, but we will be starting shows from the 5th of December and we sort of run all through December. So lots of time to grab your pals and come along. Definitely. Well, we definitely do not want you to lose your job. So I think it's best if I give out those <laughs> dates. I give out those dates very now. So a very naughty Christmas will be on in Melbourne from the 5th to the 21st of December at the Alex Theatre in St Kilda. Uh, from uh, Brisbane, hang on, I've got to get all these dates right. Brisbane from the 21st of November to the 18th of December. And then on the Gold Coast, uh, I think we've got to the 20th to the 21st of December at the Star. Is that correct? I think I've got everything right yeah. there. So, I've and you can, it. You, can, it. you can grab all of those tickets from www.averynaughtychristmas.com. Kate, to finish off, what would you like to say to people out there who are wanting to come back this year or, and also to those that have never been along but want to come along this year? Oh, I would say treat yourself. It's the end of the year. You deserve to go out, have have a laugh, kick back with your friends. You know, you deserve it. A night out for yourself. And it really, it's going to be um, just a, a time to completely zone out, let all your worries wash away and just um, get abs from laughing, really. That's that's what I've heard from people. Definitely. And again, for all the listeners out there, if you want to go along and see A Very Naughty Christmas, it's on from the 5th to the 21st of December at the Alex Theatre in St Kilda in Melbourne, from the 21st of November to the 18th of December in Brisbane, and from the 20th to the 21st of December on the Gold Coast at the Star Casino. And you can grab all of your tickets from a very naughty Christmas.com. Kate, thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us today. It's been an absolute honour having you on the show. And I've got to say, I can't wait to head back and see the show in Melbourne this year. So thank you so much.